Get ready to tantalize your taste buds on Updo's Tasty Thursdays. Due to the portrayal of graphic visuals, parental guidance is advised. The camel's footsteps once traced the ancient Silk Road as caravan merchants lug their goods across the land for profitable trade. Today, nature's real nomads, the camels, are proving to be a priceless commodity themselves. Much of modern civilization owes its progress to the evolution of the Great Silk Road, a 10,000 kilometer long passage of ideas spanning China to ancient Rome and beyond, breaking not only physical boundaries, but more importantly, cultural ones. Today, having collected centuries of history, these Silk Road nations strive to uphold their identities, interweaving deeply rooted cultures with the rest of the world ensuring the immortality of the Silk Road legacy and its reputation of prominence. In the deserts of Arabia, an iconic animal carries the hopes of a nation on its back, moving a culture forward at breakneck speeds. The original homeland of the Arabs, these desert lands are considered the historic center of Islam, where merchants and traders once carried spices and silks from the Far East to the West. Near the end of the vast Arabian Peninsula is the Sheikhdom of Ras al Khaimah. In 1972, Ras al Khaimah became the seventh emirate of the United Arab Emirates, where it is often overshadowed by the urban centers of nearby Abu Dhabi and Dubai. Here, every effort is made to remember the old ways and preserve timeless traditions in daily life. One of the most fascinating of these traditions is that of camel rearing. The camel was once considered the Arabs' best friend, providing more than just a means of transporting goods and people. Today, the camel is firmly rooted in the cultural identity of the local people and breeding camels can be a remarkably lucrative occupation. Without the need to use the camel for hauling goods, one would think that the camel's place in a modern world would diminish. Instead, the people of Ras al Khaimah and the surrounding emirates have found a different focus for the rearing of these beloved animals. One that has been recently rediscovered, though it dates back thousands of years. <laughs> أن في أيام الرسول عليه الصلاة والسلام كان في سباقات سباقات بس طبعا مع التطور ومع تطورت هذه الرياضة تطورت ووجدناها نحن وجدنا أبائنا وأجدادنا يعني يشاركون في هذه السباقات ولكنها يعني كانت محدودة يعني كانت السباقات تقام في يعني في المناسبات في الأعياد في الأعراس Although Salim is a camel owner himself, his primary occupation is the management and distribution of prizes at the Umal Kuwain racetrack that he helped to found. 
Beginning in the early morning, before the high heat of the sun has reached its peak, camel owners and handlers arrive to register and prepare the animals for the competition. They have come to vie for the thousands of dollars that are up for grabs. Although there is pressure to win, there is also a sense of anxiety, as camels, by their very nature, are timid and easily frightened. Handlers do their best to keep the animals calm and under control prior to the race. The racetrack captain decides which animals are ready to compete in the first race of the day, approving each camel before allowing them into the gate. لأن ما في حواجز مثل الخيل على أساس أنها يعني يفتح عنها وتروح تجاه سيدة. أنت إيه هاي أنه يعني يكون مصفوفات على شكل لاين خط يعني وممكن شيء يرجع. فالصوت هذا والكلام على أساس تخاف ما ترجع تروح مع الانطلاق. Once all the animals are ready at the start line, the handlers wait for the gate to be lifted. Prompted by the loud commands of their owners, the camels take off. Distances can vary between four to 10 kilometers, depending on the age and pedigree of the animals. Anywhere between 15 and 70 camels may race at once. The popularity of the sport is unparalleled. خصوصاً يعني الله يرحم الشيخ زايد يعني اهتم بهذه الرياضة اهتمام خاص. وانشأ لها الميادين في جميع أنحاء الدولة. يعني في الدولة تقريباً. ما ما يحضرني العدد ولكن ما يقل عن 30 او 40 مضمار موجوده في دوله الامارات العربيه المتحده ووضعت الجوائز القيمه لهذه السباقات جوائز فيها سيارات With so much at stake the owners of the camels follow the progress of their beloved animals from their vehicles during the race Using handheld radios, owners are able to shout commands at their camels, their voices projected from a speaker mounted on each camel's back. An owner can even prompt his camel to run faster by way of a remote-controlled whipping device known as an Ali. It's a unique system that has eliminated the use of a rider, improving safety standards for the camels. <laughs> عند صاحب الجمل او اللي ساير الجمل في يكون في في السياره بالريموت كنترول يحرك هناك اذا بغى يعطي صوت له جهاز ثاني يعني يعطيه صوت ويتحرك زياده اذا ما فاد وياه الصوت تحرك العصا تحرك زياده هذا The races can be extremely physical and as in all competitive sports there exists the risk of falling and becoming injured. Because the animals are highly valued, many owners of injured or ill camels demand a very high standard of care. A dedicated camel hospital was established for this purpose, located in the neighboring emirate of Dubai. Dr. Jahangir Akbar has been studying and treating camels for over 25 years. Dr. Akbar literally wrote the book on the swift one-humped dromedary and its medical care. The respiration, obviously, it's very essential for the race. If the animal has some embarrassment during race uh, for the respiration, it is uh, maybe you know good how good pedigree that camel is, how good fast camel is. But uh, we have to either lame or the respiratory. These are the two major areas which uh, basically hinders the performance of the animal. We 
finished this uh, uh, procedures uh, for uh, you know the clearing those uh, nose uh, for those uh, with the things which are obstructing the nasal passage and uh, it we just hospitalized for another four or five days and see when the things will be uh, perfect which uh, we have a quite a good uh, uh, successful rate for doing this type of operation so then we'll send this camel back to the race track At the end of a grueling 10 kilometer race, a winner is declared in the prestigious three-year-old juvenile camel category. Once the dust has settled, it's time for the owners to collect their winnings. This being a relatively small race, winners receive approximately one to two thousand US dollars from Salim with smaller prizes for second, third, fourth and fifth place finishers. With around 40 active racetracks across the United Arab Emirates, many much larger than this one, camel racing has become a wildly successful industry. The value of a camel that consistently wins can also be a fortune. The timeless connection between man and animal continues to shift and change in this part of the world, as it has for thousands of years. But the humble animal of the great deserts is still the center of attention in this part of the Arabian Peninsula. And with a new foothold in a changing culture, the camel now stands as a symbol, the last bastion of the ancient nomadic ways of the desert people. Long before the technologies of war created advanced weaponry, it was the sounds of an intimidating orchestra on the battlefield that instilled fear into the hearts of the enemies. Like it or not, you've seen her singing to you when you take the MRT. Actress, singer, writer, director, producer, etc., etc., etc. Selena is about to see the first rough cuts interview she did 10 years ago. And the most important question of all does she look 10 years older? Selena Tan on the interview series. Rough cuts, 10 years on. Sunday, 9 30 pm and Wednesday, 11 pm. Only on Octo.